Let's talk for a minute about the fuel tank placement on the flat top. Why is it critical to have the fuel on the bottom, all the way at the bottom? There's many reasons. For one, if you have the weight of the fuel as far from the prop as possible, you create an automatic counterbalance to the torque of the motor. It's another one of those reasons, if you see videos of people taking off on a flat top, you can see they climb out perfectly level. Where if you watch people climb out on like a Scout or a Nirvana or mini plane or other units, you'll notice that unit is torqued violently off to the side. And that's one of those reasons. Another reason for having the fuel below the engine is imagine if you had a fuel tank above the engine. Well, any fuel leak and that fuel leaks right onto the hot engine. Another thing on top of that is with having the tank at the bottom, if you shut your engine off, therefore stopping your fuel pump, you immediately stop pumping fuel up to the engine. So if you did have any issue or like an in-flight fire or anything like that, it would immediately stop delivering that fuel to the problem. Where if you have the fuel tank above the engine, anything like that would be absolutely catastrophic. Now, another reason to have your weight absolutely as low as possible is center of gravity. What happens if you trip and fall down? Well, with a flat top, it just falls forward to the, the comfort bars because you have face plant protection. But imagine if you got your big heavy fuel tank right above the engine. Now you have all that weight trying to smash you face first into the ground. And that's exactly what happens. With high center of gravity units, they, you tend to always trip and fall forwards right on your face. And if they don't have face plant protection like the, the comfort bars and the flat top provide, that's your face getting smashed right into the ground. So having the fuel tank absolutely at the bottom is very, very critical. Now another cool feature of the flat top is how well the flat top uh, fuel tank is actually protected. It slides up and down on this rail system. So if you watch crashes of flat tops, where the flat tops have been completely totaled, the fuel tank pushes safely up to the side. There's a video where one guy's life is saved by the crumple zone, and he uses every inch of the crumple zone, and you can see right in the video that the fuel tank was completely unharmed. There's another video where a guy death spirals into the ground at over 50 miles an hour and tumbles for like 40 feet. Again, no damage to the fuel tank. There's many videos like that that really show through vast experience the wisdom in placing that weight all the way on the bottom. Still another reason to have the weight of the fuel tank all the way at the bottom is balance. Think about if you lean right. Well, if you have your fuel tank that has a lot of weight up above the engine, that weight is trying to then fall to the right, making the unit feel unstable. Where by having the weight all the way at the bottom, if you lean to the right, the fuel tank goes up to the left automatically balancing you. So it makes the flat top a lot more stable to have that low center of gravity and a lot safer because it doesn't tend to flip over the top of your head if you land on a hot landing or just land really fast or accidentally land downwind or something like that. So the placement of the fuel tank is absolutely critical. Another really cool feature of the flat top is you can take the fuel tank and move it to one side and add in an additional dual tank option for the full five gallon legal limit. And this is a really neat feature because if you just have one big tank, they're very heavy. I actually tried that at first and I had a really neat aerodynamic five gallon tank made. The thing weighed over five pounds. So you don't always wanna carry five pounds if you just wanna do short flights. So with the flat top, you can use a standard two and a half gallon tank for all your standard flights, which will give you up to 127 miles, which the world record was set by a flat top with one tank. Or you can move the tank over, add a second dual tank 
for the full legal limit of five gallons, and I set the world record at 280 miles on just three and a half gallons. So you get a considerable range with the flat top paramotor. And those are just some more reasons of why that flat top uh, tank was mounted that way. Now, still another reason the flat top tank was mounted this way is, now check this out. Boom, comfort bars, you gotta love that face plant protection. But check this out. Notice your fuel cap is the highest thing on the unit. So your place where any possible leak could happen, when you lean your unit forwards and put it in the back of your truck or your car or your trunk, the fuel cap is the highest to help minimize any chances of leaks. With most units, they literally have a hole in the fuel tank. And if you tip over, they literally dump fuel all over you. Where the flat top, when you lean forward like this, the fuel cap becomes the highest point on that tank. Think about it. 